So. Matt Meany of IrishBoxing.com with Callum Walsh. Callum, how's it going? All good, yeah. I'm over here in New York. Good. How is New York going? Yeah, yeah it's good, yeah. It's a bit cold, but uh, not too bad. How, how are you feeling for your upcoming fight? Obviously, you know, on a, on a, big, on a big weekend for the Irish... Um, in Madison Square Garden for the WBC Silver Super Middleweight title. How's training going ahead of the fight? Yeah, it's all going good, yeah. You know, uh, been back in camp since, since my last fight. I haven't stopped training, so I'm always ready to fight. And uh, come fighting it, I'll be, I'll be ready again. Looking looking ahead of your fight, is, has, has anything changed in your, in your training routine at all, or your training regime, or is, is it still the same camp, same people? Just preparing for March 16th. Yeah, I never, I never uh, prepare for a, a certain opponent or change my training to to suit any any opponent. I just, uh, I always do my own thing. You know, I always train how Freddie wants me to train or how my team wants me to train, and uh, I just prepare 100. percent And it doesn't matter at the end of the day who I fight, as long as I'm ready. That's it. In terms of the fight, will you be will you be going out for to look for a stoppage or rounds of the bank or? Is there any plan at all coming up to the fight, or is it just you're going to go with the flow? Yeah, there's. Uh, I'm always looking for the stoppage, really. You know, um, I'm going to go there and just and just see what happens. You know, it's a good opponent, and uh, I have ten rounds to do it. So we just go and see what happens. You know. In terms of your professional career, um, is there anything to look forward to after after this fight? Would 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 coming back to Dublin, or or maybe even a core care beyond beyond the eyes at all? Do, do you think? Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's a uh, there's a plan in the works for it. I'm not really gonna say much, no. You know, I'll just get this fight out of the way first, and uh, and uh, there might be an announcement after that. What, what, what a dream! Uh, a dream corkhead, Perky Queeve. You never know yourself. You know, you, you have a huge core contingent, the likes of you know Spike, Carl Crowley, and yourself. A, a Sutherland card, maybe. Would you like to see that at all in the future? Yeah, definitely. If I was going to go home, I'd, I'd love to fight in Cork. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens after this fight. I'll just get this one out of the way first, and and we'll see. In terms of you know your your, your professional career so far, would, would there be any targets at all that that you've like you'd like to hit by the end of this year? Any any titles, any other titles you'd like to go for, or anything even in general that that you're looking forward to to hit? Yeah, definitely. I'd like to pick up another title soon, and um, and see where it goes after that. Um. Like I said, I'm just taking every fight now as it comes and just uh, the boys, I, I do the fight and uh, Tom Loeffler and, and Dana and the boys, they make the plans, you know what I mean? So. Dana, like, would, 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 has there been any talk of a bit of mixed martial arts, maybe maybe thrown into the mix for, for Callum or? Yeah, not right now though, you know, I'm, I'm focused on boxing right now, I'm going to win as much as I can and uh, maybe someday down the line, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. Can you just talk about how you got into how you got from Ireland to America all the way back was 2020. How you got from Mexico to to America? Yeah, so I just uh, flew from Ireland into Mexico, quarantined in there for, for two weeks and uh, and got over the border. And uh, took me a couple of tries, right? But I, I got there eventually and I just stayed here then and uh, turned pro. And then nine, nine, nine fights later, it's it's been an absolute journey. In terms of the people here who you're training with, what's it like to train with, with Tony Ferguson and the people and such an iconic gym in, in Freddie Roach? Yeah, it's unbelievable. You know, every day that I'm trained out here, I just don't know who I'm going to train with. You know, like I said, uh, when I first came here, yeah, I met with Tony Ferguson. I trained with him for a long time and uh, I learned some good things from him and I'm um, still training with him. You know, he's still one of my good friends. And um, yeah, like I said, I won the wild card. It's just, you just don't know who's going to be in there every day. I don't know who I'm going to spar with. Mm-hmm. Don't know who's gonna throw up, you know, looking for sparring, and it's just a uh, unbelievable experience, really. And that's, I think, why I'm quite at the level I'm fighting at already because of that experience of getting in the wild card. Mm-hmm. Could you take us to a typical day in the life of Callum Walsh, either or the training or, or not training, just just a usual day? Yeah, a usual day for me when I'm in LA. It's like I, I feel like when I come here, I'm just here to work, you know. So I wake up, I go to the gym, I go home, I go to the gym and I go home again and I go to the gym I mean that's it when I'm here I'm just here to work and uh, when I go home I can I can enjoy myself then and take time off but oh, right now when I'm in LA or where I'm right here in New York I'm still training still going to work you know, I'm over here doing interviews now and it, like I said that's my job and that's just the mindset I'm in when, once I'm over here it's, it's just it's just work you know what I mean okay right, Callum thank you so much yeah no bother, thank you